Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. If you don't know who this is, this is Elon Paul and I'm back with another weekly anomaly mission. So we're going to get right to it and get right into the space station and find out what our anomaly mission of the week is. Now, you probably don't recognize this particular base at all. It is my alpha base. It's one of my first bases I ever created in my... Uh, when I first started playing this particular character run, I guess. I'm trying to figure out a way to word that. There we go. Pulling the anomaly. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It's been... For this particular character, for this particular run, I have about, I don't know, 215 hours invested in this particular run. Um, I have crossed over the 2,000 hour mark all total in No Man's Sky. So, well, what an achievement there. I don't know whether to be proud or, or, or sad. Uh, but either way, <laughs> it's up to you to look at it either way you want. Alright. So we are in the anomaly. I don't know why I was still in that view. Ah, I must have my mouse still adjusted for Valheim. Sorry about that. A little bit sensitive right now. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got going on at the Nexus. Biological Intrigue. Taming Wild Creatures. 1800 Quicksilver, and we'll get some polyfiber out of it. Actually, polyfiber is pretty useful because you can create certain um, uh, parts of your base, you know, like chairs and beds, things like that. Certain items need polyfiber. So it's actually not a bad idea to go ahead and get that done. So we're going to go ahead and initialize the mission. As you can see... I am not in multiplayer right now, so let's head through. Sorry for the quick responses. Like I said, I think I have my mouse set a little bit, uh, a little bit sensitive right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started the mission. Come on, get out of the way. And on our way. And it's sending us to a new planetary system. Let's see where we end up today. And a little side news, I've got my um, speed run down to an hour and 19 minutes. Yay! And I've got Jason, who's got his down to 52. Boo! Well, that's all right. Jason's a much better player than I am at this. He's very methodical. Uh, yeah, got to figure out where we're going first. Planet located. Ah! Well, there was this planet. This is a nice looking planet, actually. Let's see what we end up with. Hey, it's not those terribly big mountains that we all hate. All right. Hey, why don't we land over by this communication station here? Um. Very interesting. Yeah, let's land right here. What did that one say? I'm very curious now. You're all awesome. Well, you know what? So are you, my friend. Thank you very much. Whoa. Fascinating. Fascinating. Look at all these people over here. This is great. Oh. Okay, we got somebody who doesn't like us very much, does he? Let's see, do we have any food on us? I don't know. Yeah, looks like we got one or two. Hey. Tamed. So that's how you can also get rid of those creatures that attack you. So we have to tame 46 creatures. Now I had somebody make a comment in another special at one time. Oh, this is an actually pretty cool planet. I like the red land with the blue, very blue water. That is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can get out of these guys. Do I have it set to go to a particular... I have it set to 7. Okay. No? I guess they weren't close enough. Sorry. Let me get over here. Is 
Is anything happening when I'm doing that? I betcha anything. Yeah, the food is in the ship, Paul. Come on. That's why you're able to dispense food. You gotta get that get it out of the ship. Get a little closer here. Food, food, food. I'm about to be attacked. I don't care. No, nope, not there. So where's my food? I am looking in the starship. I don't see it. Maybe it's on me and I just didn't realize it. No. Well, you see as well as I do, there is no food on me. Okay, let's go ahead and get some. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, let's go find some more animals. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so what do we got? We got four animals. I want to find a larger group of them if I can. Hmm. What have we here? This is gamma weed, or gamma root. Very nice. Lots of outcroppings of that. <laughs> Too bad we can't feed sea-based animals. So basically, uh, if we can find a very large group of them someplace... Eh, we do have some. I don't know. That's the biggest grouping of them, but if I'm not mistaken, those are all... Those look like birds. Yeah, those are... Well, not birds, but they're flying creatures. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yep, I don't like you. Never did. Hey, buddy. Let me give you some of that. Yeah, let's see. Bolt caster ought to do. This is my new weapon, by the way. We're going to be testing that out this weekend. Now that I have a little bit of time to do so. Hey, let's see. Got some red creatures over here. So basically, this is the slog of it all. It's just basically trying to get these creatures to eat your food. That used to work. That's one of the comments somebody make is to go ahead and do that. And am I really that low on uranium? Not the starship. On me. Uh, yeah, sure enough. Look at that. Okay, I'll have to go find some one of these days. Hey, buddy. You don't like me? Here, have a snack. It looks like raw berries. That's nice. And a rainbow in the distance. So, kind of a yucky planet. I don't particularly care for it very much. Let's get down here a little bit. Take a look around. So, there's a big guy. So, this could take a little bit, because normally when you do this, you can, you know, get them attracted, they eat the food, they get the plus on it, then you shoot a little bit, and they're supposed to, you know, go away. But these guys are so big, I don't think they care. So, that's going to be a little bit of a problem here, isn't it? And there's not a whole lot of animals, so this looks like it might take a little time. Let's go over there to these guys. Unfortunately this, unfortunately, this is not one of those storms that is a heat storm, so... Okay, what does that get us? That gets us three more, it looks like. Fourth one right there. 
All right, so we got uh, 35 more to go. That was pretty good. Hey, good deal. So I'm just going to keep flying around here. In the middle of this stinky, stinky storm. Looks like we got a bunch over here at the moment. No? I think we already got him. Alright. Go up the slope here and see what's up here. So this is going to turn out to be a little bit longer than I expected. Hey guys, have some food. There we go. It's so funny how they just suddenly like, I'm gonna attack you with the- Oh, look, a pellet. Ooh, a piece of candy. Yeah, that's what goes through my mind too. It's been a very long week. One of those weeks where it's just like Friday couldn't come soon enough and you weren't even sure if Friday was really going to be a Friday or more like a, you know, a continuation of the rest of the Mondays for the week. I know that sounds depressing and very down. But hey, let's, uh, let's go with the reality of the situation sometimes here, folks. There we go. That should give us a few more. What are we up to? 18. Up to 18. Well, that's, that's just dandy. So this one tends, it looks like this one's going to take quite a bit longer just due to the fact that you can't seem to scare them away. Little trick there if you, uh, if you do the little jetpack thrust there and then hit the water, you'll swim a lot faster through the water without using your jetpack. For at least a short period of time. Not a bad trick. Floating crystals. Okay, I need red dots. There's some down there. I wonder if they change that. Like, so we're up to 20. Must have fed him at another point in time. All right, so this is definitely taking longer than I expected. Radiation protection. Yeah, I hit the button by accident. Okay, 22. Let's try heading over this way. And get some more animals to appear over here. We may have to fly somewhere else and try to get this done. So we'll see how this goes. I keep drifting back away from my microphone. I got to get used to getting my face back in front of it. And I apologize. Maybe I'll just scooch it a little closer. There we go. Yeah, if only we could feed the ones in the air, that would be so much better. Yeah, we can always call our ship into us if we get far away, far enough away. All right, what do we got? Got you down there. At least it's one, but still, I'd like to find a grouping of them. Well, there's a few more. Okay, good deal. But still, we're only a little bit more than halfway there.
Okay, it's another guy. And another guy. So this seems to be very slow going. 26 out of 46. So we need 20 more. Is that my ship? Yeah, I think it is. Looks like I've come full circle and we didn't even realize it. Come on, give us some animals. They seem to be very hard to come by for some reason. Guess I gotta get up this way now. I mean, the way I just came, I figured there'd be animals popping up in front of me here. No, it's not annoying at all. There we go, see if we can get through there. Hey, this guy will want to attack me, of course. That's a very long-legged strider there. Okay, it gets another one gone. So what are we down to? That should give us up to 28. 29, looks like 30 there. So this isn't one of those really, 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 really dense places. Full of too many, too many animals, but... That gives us up to, what, 32? Wow, this is incredible, really. What's this? Hey, did we just say? Yeah, guess what? Gotta switch my tool over. Uh, pulse, neutron, mining, three manipulator. It's just saying I needed a little bit of uranium. So let's go ahead and gather this. I know this isn't exactly what you're looking for, but I'm gonna go ahead and gather it up. In the smallest setting, you can gather up the most resources. Now, you know, yes, I could go to the creative setting and do it that way, but I am kind of a purist when it comes to playing this game, and I'd rather do it the right way. Now, remember, when you're in this mode, you don't get saved. There are no saves, auto saves, or anything else. Even jumping in and out of your ship will not save your game. So try not to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It is what it is. This is a good, uh, good deposit here. It's gonna get us a few hundred. That's nice. It's down to about fifty, so I really could use some. So probably could purchase some at a space station or something like that. But if the resources are there, grab them, man. That's what you're supposed to be doing, you know. Part of the game. So we're going to have some other things going on. I'm going to try another speed run, probably tonight. I'm going to get a couple of the recordings done. And then tomorrow, at some point, I am going to try to get a permadeath run in. I know I've got an ongoing one with no HUD that seems to be never-ending for some weird reason. But, you know, it is what it is. So we'll label this the Nexus Anomaly Mission or Anomaly Nexus Mission, or however we want to word that. And as well as a news update. So we're supposed to be going through another storm system tonight. Uh, like we did a couple weeks ago, which knocked out power for days. So we're hoping that it's not going to be as rough, but we'll see. There we go. How much did we end up with? Just out of curiosity. Uh, oh, okay. That works. I like it. All right. So anybody around? Uh, let's see if refeeding these guys, wrong button. 
It worked. So I'm gonna work back our way to the other direction. Nope, we've already gotten that one. Okay, so... We need to head further out, apparently. How many are we up to? 33 out of 46. We need 13 more. I mean, I guess we could just keep going until something starts to try to attack me. Like, maybe him. Oh, yep, still hate you. Okay. Got another friend there, 34. I don't see anybody. Is that, uh... Yeah, look at that. Bones. That's what that is. Alright. If only, if only, if only. I can't believe there's literally nothing here. Boink. There we go. What do we got? Now, this did say Fauna Rich Planet. You did see that as well as I did, right? Anything? Shouldn't we be seeing, like, red dots everywhere? I see nothing. I see nothing? Nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, finally somebody decided to show up. Here, have that. Yep, we befriended him. So what do we have to do? I need 11 more. Unbelievable. Inconceivable. Alright, that should get me two more. Another guy over there. Let's head over there. Did I pass him? I don't know. I could have. Or there could be nothing here. Here, there's a couple of them over here. Gets me two more. Which should get us up to close to 40, if it's not at 40 already. No, nope, that'll be 39. Hey, buddy. Have a piece of food. That gets us two more. Alright, so... 40 and 41. And looks like 42. Well, nope, he was just had a question mark over his head, and that's it, apparently. Don't know. That might have just been a a weird query. Oh, looks like there's a whole bunch over here all of a sudden. Figures. I think I ran out of food finally. Okay, that gets us four more right there, which should bring it in. All right, speaking of bringing it in. One more. There he is. And that's the end of the mission. Oof, that was the longest food feeding mission I've had in a while, man. Let's go ahead and jump in our ship. Utopia Speeder, of course, which everybody seems to be enjoying. Yeah, take that. I bet they uh, wish they had that. This uh, this speeder when fighting the Empire on Hoth, huh? Let's pull in our anomaly. Anomaly. And we are going back to the Nexus to receive our reward. No idea what that was. That was really weird. Okay. Landing. 
And that concludes our anomaly mission. Now again, you saw me shooting at the animals a little bit and trying to get them to get scared away. A lot of times that does work and they'll run away and you can just simply re-attract them again with some more food and re-get them over and over and over and over and over again. Doesn't always work, apparently. So we completed a mission giving us another eight, 1800 Quicksilver. So we're really doing great over here. Let's check our Quicksilver vendor real fast and see where we are. Okay, looks like these are our three tiers of units to get. Okay, good. Um, Night Tongue flowers have been opened. All these other flowers have been opened. Um, I will collect all of these one of these days because I will be creating a new base. Probably a sky base is what I'm going to redo. But these are our... There it is. Our three tiers. The Euclid Moonrise sign, which actually looks kind of nice. I kind of like that. That's definitely going to be there. The ship and pilot sign. I like that sign too, actually. And the black hole in the wall. <laughs> black hole in the wall sign. I like that as well. Yeah, these are definitely going to be worth getting, man. Nice cosmetics. Um, no other news here, really, um, to report other than I'm going to do some more No Man's Sky. Um, <sighs> broadening out. There's a possibility I may broaden out and do other games. Um, I am looking forward to Starfield. I have that in my wish list in Steam. I know it comes out September 6th. So yes, I will probably be doing Starfield as well, and I'll do content on that. Um, it's a toss-up right now. What other games I can throw in here? I know that Tears of the Kingdom comes out very soon. Um, I've got a uh, device on order to, in order to hook my uh, Switch straight up to my uh, system here so I can record gameplay on that if I wish to do that. So that's another option I might consider as well. Um, I've always loved the Zelda games. I've played Breath of the Wild multiple times. I've uh, finished it out. I've never done speedruns on it. I'm not interested in doing speedruns. I am more interested in the story. Pretty much just like No Man's Sky. So, story is really important to me. The, the immerse, immersiveness of a story. And I really look forward to maybe showing you that if I get around to doing Tears of the Kingdom. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of things happening on the personal side of things, on the in the family life in, in the home and everything like that. So we've got a lot of things coming up as far as that's concerned. It's going to be a busy week. This is spring break week here in Kentucky. So looking forward to spending some time with family, getting a lot of things done around the house. So a lot of honey-do list stuff to get done. So we'll still get some videos. I'll have a couple special videos out next week as well. We only got a few more days left of Utopia. So if you haven't done the run yet, get it done this weekend. All right, so folks, this is me signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye now.